Okay, so, <coughs> now negative x to the third means what? It means negative x times negative x times negative x, right? Mm -hmm. And then you still have your plus 1, right? Right. And negative x squared means negative x multiplied by negative x, and then that'll be minus 2, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, what do you get when you multiply negative x by negative x? Positive x. Or positive x, x squared. Negative x or positive x squared. Yeah. Okay. And in the numerator, what do you get if you multiply negative x by negative x by negative x? Negative 3, negative x to the third. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now here's g of negative x and here's g of x. Are they the same? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, no, they're not. Anything different down here? Oh, the x cubed is negative. Yeah, I got a negative there, right? Okay. Okay. G of x is not equal to g of negative. G of x is not equal to g of negative x. So you don't have symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Okay? So this is not symmetric with respect to the y-axis. I don't have a good place to write this. Okay? I don't even have a good place to try to squeeze it in, so I'll just say it. Okay? So you see that this is symmetric with respect to the y-axis because f of x is equal to f of negative x, meaning if you come over on this side, you get the same thing you do on this side of the y-axis at equal distances. Okay. okay? Here, it's not so. So you don't have symmetry. Okay? Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. That's a very important concept you're going to be dealing with, like, tomorrow. Okay. Okay? All right, yeah, I see what I did wrong.